Hi Leo, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a quick general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, personal readings are available. Make sure you guys send me an, uh, an email. The information will be in our description box below. Also, any customized manifestation jewelry you would like or artwork, that information will be in our description box below as well. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high, please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Note. Please return all negative energy back to sender. 20 million fold and anyone out there showing me love much love and light to you all right so let's tap into uh the energy of some channel messages here all right spirit what is it that we have for leo today what messages do we have for my leo What messages do we have for Leo's? that you're leveling up right now leo and somebody is wondering what the hell they were thinking um when they played with you and this person could be on the outside looking in but i feel like uh they feel like you blocked them because they cheated and you may have blocked them for some of you but for some of you guys um you could have just changed your number you could have been bored with this person. You may have been dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. I don't know. Um, you could have felt like they were not super exciting or outdoorsy, maybe a little bit. But you could find yourself kind of having to talk this person into doing some of the things that you like to do, like adventurous things, right? Um, so you might, may have felt like it was boring. Whoa, I see sex magic. Man, I feel like this energy is kind of picking up from uh, your last reading that I did from you, uh, for you. Somebody that feels like you're purposely avoiding them, and you probably are purposely avoiding them. Like, they doing some type of magic. They want you to think about them in an intimate type of way. This was somebody who was non-committal with the bishop in the reverse here. They were non-committal. Why is this person here? They keep saying, unblock me, unblock me, unblock me. But it's manipulation. You're destined for greatness. That's why. Because you got destined for greatness here. So you're destined for greatness. This is why this person is like on my tail with telling you, with wanting me to tell you to unblock them. This is somebody who acted like a coward. Yeah, why do I... You had to pull your energy back to kind of get attention from this person. It's like... But when you pulled your energy back, your money looked better. <laughs> like, your money looked way better. Um, look, you got this again. Unblock me. So, you got the Page of Pentacles here. But it's in reverse. I feel like you just felt like this person was bad news and it was messing up your life being with this person by 
I don't know. They were procrastinating on changing. They keep saying, unblock me. I'm about to just take this car out. I'm about to name this re and unblock me. Literally. Because this person is like... What do they want Leo to unblock them so bad for? What does this person want Leo to unblock them so bad for? Oh my gosh. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. <laughs> Cause you ladies, you got you you got something going on down there, but it's it's crazy. Is this person really like that for that? Okay, what else? What are the other reasons that they want you to unblock them? What are the other reasons that they want Leo to unblock them, spirit? When we make love, I feel a spiritual connection. Oh, wow. So, somebody feels a spiritual connection uh, when you guys make love. And my phone's going off confirmation. All right. When we first met, there was so much chemistry. Now you don't even talk to me. They could be bored right now with you not talking to them. Because they're not really flirting with a lot of people or anything. They miss you. So this person is masturbating to you, thinking about you. Yeah, so you could be doing the same. <laughs> I ain't going to air y'all out that much. But I got to air you out a little bit because y'all could be doing the same thing. Because you're feeling this person pull on your energy. And for some of you guys, it's, it's messing with your hormones. <laughs> like, literally. I see that. All right. And what else for Leo? It's some you feel like you can't let it go, or you feel like you can't let them go, or they feel like they can't let you go. Somebody's tired of thinking about you so much. They tired of it. Because I feel like you're giving this person no energy at all. Well, look, good intentions are here, though. Past life connection. Oh. So this person is in love with... They feel like you have very healing um, sex. They feel like you got unicorn pussy. This is what I'm saying here. I ain't make this up. I mean, I did make the cards. But this is the energy. Like... But I also feel like you guys got a past life connection too. And it's like they feel this spiritual connection when you guys are intimate with each other. Okay. You got an old soul. Okay. Yeah, because y'all souls keep meeting over and over again in these lifetimes. It look the in-between. But it's like this person keep... I feel like every lifetime they try to make you into an F-buddy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm picking up this energy. And it's like, I feel like your soul is much older than this person's soul. Even though you guys share past life connection together. See, somebody is reminiscing about you. See, they, they think it's sexy when you call them daddy. And if you're a masculine energy, you know who I'm talking about. This feminine feels like she likes to do that with you. All right. So somebody was emotionally immature. They didn't care about you. And they, they like did certain little things. Even like just was cold towards you. You could have known this person through your brother or you met them through your brother. But it's like, this person is doing some type of um, sex magic here. All right. They want you to be optimistic about being open to them. This is crazy. But this person needs to just go on a soul search. I feel like that's what you've been doing. 
you had sex in the shower with this person. Because I see I love shower sex. But somebody be cold. <laughs> somebody be cold. Whoever's standing in the back. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm picking up so much energy for y'all. Let's, let's dip and get a room. So you could have went somewhere and got a room with them. Or they get rooms often. They may travel or something for work. Or they want to get... Somebody want to get a room with you. So, some of y'all got somebody younger than you. Could be a younger earth sign. They want to fuck the shit out of you. I'm saying that. Like, literally. This person do. Like... <laughs> That's crazy. This person is literally... They feel, they feel like you misusing your power. <laughs> Leo, this person feel like you misusing your power. And they feel like you hiding something because you didn't take back control of your life. Yeah, they feel like you hiding something. So they trying to, they doing little things to try to make you think about them. So I wouldn't be surprised if one of y'all or some of y'all woke up thinking about this person. In the middle of the night. Whatever the case may be. In the morning. I don't know. Trust your intuition with this. Because I feel like this person might come towards you. And it could be fast sex. So just like. Uh, what is their advice? Oh see they coming for any type of connection you got. So if you got a new person or something. Because they see you as the empress and you're not talking to them. They see you as being very beautiful like and sexy if you're masculine energy. They feel like you have a, a creative way of expressing yourself. You could be into art. But it's like this person sees you as being very abundant and they, they love you. But it's like they... They were showing fake feelings. They was high in their feelings, basically, with how they felt about you. Now they walking around, everything remind them of you. Wow, y'all some freaks. I ain't even going to air y'all all the way out. Got to keep this YouTube appropriate. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, this person having flashbacks. But you feel like they use you for your energy or for your sex. This person saying, will you forgive me? And they want you to roll up or they want to roll up. They want to talk, smoke, kick it. Try to sort some things out with you. And they went through a spiritual awakening. Yeah, this person. See... Um, what does this person want? What other messages do we got? I plan to show up. Yeah. Somebody hating baby mama or baby daddy is going to try to show up where you are one day. With all the smoke. And I'm telling you the police coming. Because there's going to be problems. It's going to be problems. This person think they're going to pull up on you. And I don't think it's going to work out in that person's favor. And it's like, I knew y'all had some, like, y'all been growing. But it's like, this like this person sent you a message, okay, that's one thing. Like, y'all can block the number and forget about it. But this person gonna pull up where you at. Somebody gonna pull up where you at. And I don't think you're gonna be able to keep your control. I'm trying to tell you to keep your control, but I don't know, Leo. Because it's like, somebody's salty because, like, somebody is salty. Like, somebody baby mama or something is salty because it's like their person or their baby daddy or something want to offer you, they want to offer you something. Some of y'all could have went to the, like, I don't know all these downloads. Listen, it's a lot. Some of y'all could have went to this person's school with them. Like, they kids' school to pick up the kids or something. And the kids could have said something to their parents. Um, 
I don't know. I'm trying to tell you. Alright. So let's see what your person, what type of stuff your person want to say to you. Alright. Um, the person that's on my Leo's now, what do they want to say to Leo right now? Angel number 15, 17. Angel number 17, 17. What does this person want to say to Leo at this time? person want to say to Leo at this time? This the deal. Here's the deal. I feel like since you ain't been talking to this person, because some of y'all don't talk to him, could be a Virgo for some of you guys or another earth sign. Um, this person is apologizing. All right. The reason being is because in the beginning of this connection, they were still wanting to keep their options open. And they didn't want to rush a commitment. You could have told them you wanted a commitment. Or you may not have not even said it so much, but you could have just started pulling back when you noticed they wasn't giving you a commitment. Like like the situation, like that's all. It's not going to progress. Okay, I'm cool. Like, But not really been too harsh about it. But still kind of just been distant with this person. Like, they're not even investing in you. It's like, why would you over invest in a situation when this person's not even investing in you? Yeah, you can court. They can court you. That's cool. But, like, it ain't growing to nothing. It's like courting and smashing. But it ain't courting and growing. It's, it's a difference. Like, you see what I'm saying? And so, I feel like you started focusing more on you, all right? Because you just felt like this person wasn't ready for somebody like you. They felt like you was being extra or being a challenge. And it's like, you wasn't. You really wasn't. The challenge for this person has always been the fact that you can see right through them. They don't like it. They don't like that. They feel like that's a reason to keep their distance. That's how they felt. But now it's like they mesmerized by you. Your confidence. Um, you know, uh, the way that you challenge them. How smart you are. How authentic you are. How talented you are. And it's like this person's just reconsidering the whole way that they went about you to begin with. Yeah, they they considering the whole. Yeah, they really care about you. They saying they I really care about her. So yeah, they reevaluating the whole thing. Like, cause it's like you see right through this person. Everything they try to hide from you. The whole reason why they are the way they are. You like seeing that. Some of you guys got psychic abilities. No cap. It's like you seeing that. All right. You seeing it. You seeing right through this energy. Yep. Communication coming. Definitely a rebirth. Communication is here. Yep. See, look. I told you. They want to let it go. They want to let go of all the problems y'all had. Look, you got the Ten of Wands in reverse. They want to let go of all that arguing, that fighting, that trauma. Because, look, they love you. Like, period, point blank. You could be getting a lot of attention right now, getting recognized in the public eye. Or some of y'all about to get an engagement. Somebody going to do something in front of a lot of people. Like a public something. Like, you know, changing a status online. Um, proposing. Like an engagement. 
um, a relationship, a commitment. I see that here. So, yeah, somebody's about to do something publicly. It's like they could have publicly embarrassed you because you were so honest and so real with this person. Whole time they had you confused doing some other things. Everybody knew about it. Their friends, their family, everybody. But you out here looking stupid. That same public embarrassment that they did, they going to do a public acknowledgement for your ass. Yeah, they are. And they just all the... Because at the end of the day, it's going to free this person from all of that energy that they all of that. See, it says your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Like this person is understanding that you are accomplishing your dreams with or without them. Period. Because you are a creator, you're an inventor, you do things, you're gonna do things, you're gonna make things happen. You represent strength. Like, there is no situation that you can't get up out of. Some of y'all done lost people that y'all really, really, really love in the physical and you felt like you couldn't even be without them. But look at you, though. Look at you. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, you've already freed yourself. It's time for people to suit up and boot up and get with the program, man. Eh? And that's what's happening right now. Yeah, I see that. So there is hope. Look, and here you go. Strength. <laughs> there is hope. My period. All right. So, and, and I'm hearing spirit says you don't have to do nothing. Don't, you don't need to take control and do nothing. This is just going to happen, all right? Because it's a purpose behind it. Okay. So those are the messages. Look, light and the unexpected. I cannot stop reading these. Look, manifesting and doing, period. You manifested this. And it's like, it's a messy, it's a messy, uh, you know, Ask any, ask anybody, anybody, any successful individual or anybody who got it out the mud, what their journey was like. Anything worth having if, is worth fighting for. Yeah. All right. So those are the messages I got for you, my loves. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If you like the reading, if it resonates, thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.